We thought we knew how comets behaved, but from deep space, a visitor has arrived that defies everything we expect. This is Comet 3 I Atlas. Hubble's images showed a dense coma hiding its core. Then, Swift detected a puzzle. Water at a distance where it shouldn't be, at 40 kilograms per minute. And then, the ultimate twist. JWST revealed its chemistry is a complete reversal. Carbon dioxide dominates where water should be. Now, we are racing against the clock. Soon, this object will be gone from our view. In 2017, one eye slash Oumuamua raised eyebrows with its odd shape and unexplained motion. Two years later, two eye slash Borisov behaved like a regular comet, keeping expectations grounded. But on July 1st, 2025, the Atlas survey spotted a third one, three eye atlas. An interstellar object means its orbit shows it came from outside the solar system and will not return, making each discovery rare. This one combines unusual speed, odd chemistry, and a puzzling trajectory. In this video, we'll follow three main evidence streams, Hubble's imaging, Swift's water detection, and JWST's spectroscopy. Along the way, we'll compare natural explanations with more speculative ideas. To see why 3i Atlas was immediately framed as a mystery, we first need to step back and ask what astronomers even expected from such a visitor. Setting the stage. From Oumuamua to 3, I Atlas before 3, I Atlas came into view. Astronomers only had two examples to compare. Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019 created very different impressions of what an interstellar visitor might look like. Oumuamua was thin, fast and puzzling, showing slight acceleration without a gas tail and brightness swings that suggested a flattened shape. Hypotheses ranged from hidden ices to more speculative ideas. The consensus was that it seemed odd because it did not form here. When Borisov arrived two years later, it looked much less unusual. It displayed the same features seen in solar system comets. A coma of gas, a dust tail, and chemistry that matched familiar long period comets. Borisov reassured observers that interstellar comets could look quite ordinary, with no need for strange explanations. In contrast to Oumuamua's enigma, Borisov was a comfortable match to expectations. With only two data points, one difficult to classify, one straightforward, the picture remained uncertain. Did these visitors come in a wide variety of forms? Or had astronomers just been lucky? Or unlucky with the first pair? The question had no clear answer. The passage of time and the arrival of a third object would become crucial. That third case appeared in July 2025. The ATLAS Sky Survey in Hawaii tracked a new fast-moving point. Its orbit turned out to be hyperbolic. In plain language, a hyperbolic orbit means an open path that does not close. So the object will pass through once and not return. That property, combined with its speed and direction, confirmed its origin from interstellar space. Officially, it became the third interstellar object, named 3I Atlas. Measurements showed just how extreme it was. Astronomers calculated an incoming speed of about 58 kilometers per second, or 130,000 miles per hour. Its orbital eccentricity was estimated near 6.2, far sharper than any known comet from the solar system. Those numbers underscored why it could not be native to the Sun's family. Even the basic dimensions of 3I Atlas are uncertain. Analyses of Hubble observations placed the nucleus somewhere between roughly 0.3, 2 and 5.6 kilometers across. That wide range exists because the bright coma, gas and dust released as the surface warms, hides the solid core. The thickness of the dust cloud affects how bright the object looks, leaving a large margin in size estimates. Timing added further pressure. Hubble obtained its first image of the new object on July 21st, 2025. Its orbit will carry it to perihelion, the closest point to the Sun, around October 29 to 30, after which it passes behind the Sun from Earth's line of sight. That blind zone will make direct study impossible for a period, so researchers are gathering as much data as they can while it remains visible. With such urgency, telescopes quickly set to work. The first close look came from Hubble, raising a key question. What can you learn when the heart of an object is hidden inside a thick cloud? The evidence builds Hubble and Swift clues. Hubble first locked onto 3i Atlas on July 21st, 
2025. Instead of a sharp view of a rocky or icy body, it recorded a diffuse glow surrounding the object. This haze is the coma, a cloud of gas and dust released when frozen material on the surface warms and turns to vapor as the object approaches the sun. In this case, the coma measured several times wider than Earth, a scale that overwhelmed the telescope's ability to resolve the central nucleus. Because the nucleus was hidden, scientists had to estimate its size indirectly. They compared the total brightness of the coma with how much sunlight it might reflect, but this calculation depends strongly on how much dust is being released. The result was a wide size range, perhaps 0.3 up to 5.6 kilometers across. Both are small by planetary standards, yet for astronomers, the difference matters because a larger nucleus could hold more volatile ices, while a smaller one would suggest rapid activity for its scale. At this stage, the conclusion was cautious. The nucleus likely remains small, but uncertainties are high because of the thick coma obscuring it. Soon after, NASA's Swift Observatory added a different line of evidence. Swift does not produce sharp images, but it detects ultraviolet light that reveals the presence of water molecules broken apart by solar energy. Around the same time, Hubble imaged 3i Atlas, Swift recorded water vapor escaping at roughly 1.35 times 10 to the 27th molecules per second. Expressed as mass, that equals about 40 kilograms each minute leaving the surface. The observation came when the object was 3.5 astronomical units from the Sun, just beyond the asteroid belt. By comparison, most solar system comets do not shed water this far out. Water ice usually requires distances closer than about two astronomical units, where sunlight is stronger to release vapor steadily. So, Swift's detection signaled a puzzle. Why was 3i Atlas producing water earlier than expected? A working hypothesis is that more volatile ices, such as carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide, which vaporize at lower temperatures, may start sublimating at 3.5 astronomical units. As they escape, they could carry small amounts of water vapor or icy grains outward, giving Swift its signal. Another possibility is that parts of the surface contain unusually fresh ice layers that sublimate more easily. Still, the consensus view is that the activity at this distance is atypical, and no single model fully explains it yet. When Hubble's broad cometary halo and Swift's early water detection are combined, scientists see an interstellar object behaving like a comet in several ways, but not following the usual pattern. Estimates suggested a small nucleus obscured by a very large coma, with water appearing at an unexpectedly distant orbit. The implication is that its chemistry and physics may not match those of most comets we know. And that question about chemistry soon became the focus, once another observatory returned its own results. The chemistry twist, JWST's CO2 heavy coma. The James Webb Space Telescope added an essential layer by revealing what gases actually dominate around 3i Atlas. Webb works mainly in the infrared, a region of the spectrum where molecules like carbon dioxide leave strong and distinctive patterns. By splitting the light into its components and matching the resulting barcodes to laboratory data, astronomers can determine which molecules are present. This technique, called spectroscopy, makes it possible to identify the chemistry of distant objects in detail. From those data, the current JWST results showed that the coma was carbon dioxide rich compared to water. In plain terms, carbon dioxide lines were dominant in the spectra, while water vapour appeared less prominent. For many familiar comets in the solar system, water usually takes the leading role once they come near the sun, with carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide present, but typically in smaller amounts. Here the balance is reversed, indicating that the activity of 3i Atlas is driven more by CO2 than by water. That distinction sets it apart from the pattern astronomers expect based on decades of comet observations. This finding becomes harder to interpret when placed alongside Swift's earlier ultraviolet measurements of strong water release. One plausible explanation is that both observations are correct, but reflect different factors. Swift and Webb observed at different times, in different wavelengths, and from different angles. Outgassing is not uniform across a comet's surface. Regions releasing water might dominate at one point in time, while others, rich in CO, too become more prominent later. That timing and spatial distribution can produce apparent disagreement. For now, the working hypothesis is that both water and carbon dioxide are present in significant amounts. 
with their balance shifting depending on conditions. To account for the unusual chemistry, natural explanations remain the standard. One hypothesis is that three I atlas formed in a colder, outer region of its home system where carbon dioxide ice could accumulate in bulk. Another is that radiation during its long interstellar travel altered the surface, exposing CO2-rich layers that now vent easily. Both fit within what scientists know about icy bodies formed under varied conditions. The mainstream consensus is therefore that volatile-driven, outgassing, layered ice chemistry and long-term surface processing explain the data more reliably than more exotic ideas. Still, a small minority has speculated about artificial possibilities, such as engineered structures, venting gas. When such claims arise, astronomers rely on established methods to test them against natural explanations. Photometry measures, brightness changes over time, which can reveal how dust production varies and whether the object rotates. Spectroscopy, as Webb demonstrated, identifies molecules in the coma or tail. Orbital analysis compares the actual path of the object to the trajectory gravity alone would predict, which can uncover tiny additional pushes from jets of vapour. An example helps ground this. Oumuamua showed small non-gravitational accelerations as it left the solar system. Careful orbital analysis revealed that the changes matched what you might expect from asymmetric outgassing. These shifts are measurable but consistent with natural jets, and they do not indicate propulsion unless paired with further evidence. The same principle applies to 3i atlas. By combining all three methods, photometry, spectroscopy, and orbital tracking, scientists cross-check patterns before drawing conclusions. For 3i atlas, the next stage of that process is delayed by its upcoming passage behind the sun, which will temporarily block observations. During that interval, researchers can only prepare to interpret what its chemistry and behavior will look like once it re-emerges. Conclusion. Key takeaway. 3. I-Atlas looks comet-like in motion, but shows chemistry that sets it apart. Hubble revealed a dust-heavy coma hiding the nucleus. Swift measured unexpected water release at about 1.35 times 10 to the 27th molecules per second, roughly 40 kilograms each minute, when the object was still 3.5 astronomical units from the Sun, and JWST found that carbon dioxide dominated over water in the coma. Together, these results do not align with most comets we know. The object reaches perihelion around late October 2025 and then moves behind the Sun for several weeks. The next clear test of whether the coma dims, brightens, or its orbit shifts will come as it reappears. This case highlights the need for rapid follow-up spectroscopy, steady photometric monitoring, and close coordination between telescopes to capture data before objects slip into blind zones. What questions do you have about this unusual interstellar visitor? Let me know in the comments which instrument's next measurements you're most curious about, and subscribe if you want updates when 3i Atlas comes back into view.